When we shot the film, I uh, had become a father, and now my child is almost five years old, and it is only now that we can show the film. And during these past five years, the situation in China has changed tremendously. A lot of people discussed the film before its release on the internet. And this blog um, expressed a very strong opinion on the film, so it was getting a bit tiresome and difficult, so we waited for a little time, we decided to have a break. It was not that someone told us very directly, you're not allowed to show the film, but we simply uh, decided to wait and see, and we said we don't need to force things now. Above all, it was about violence in the film, the violence that is shown, and last year we finally managed to get through censorship. It is true that it took us quite some time to adapt the film over and over again, but now we've been able to screen the film here in Berlin, and we're particularly pleased that we have been able to show the film here in Berlin. Also like Ning Ha, our director, is, I don't know how to express myself, but he is a uh, leader amongst young directors. I wouldn't say that he's an exception, but it is, has been really a great surprise to be here at the Berlin Film Festival with this film, with this uh, genre, with this method, and with this different perspective. When I was a little boy, I enjoyed watching Western. And in China, there are not that many Westerns. But in Qingxiang, in this region of Qingxiang, the uh, environment, the landscape is very uh, appropriate for West, and the feelings are kind of Western-like. And I thought, well, maybe I could do a similar film, a film that is similar to a Western. Couldn't I shoot it there in this region? We do not have a um, Western story or history in China. And I was wondering how I could combine a Western with such a story. And then I thought, well, I need to do something about China, about Chinese people and their problems. I want to them to be included in the film, so it became kind of a Western, but also a Chinese story. It's actually uh, like uh, a parabola. It's about mankind outside of, or human beings outside of society. It's a special situation, and it's about how the people behave. I did another film which is called Mongolian Ping Pong. And I was also represented at the Berlin Film Festival with this former film. And I shot this film at the border between uh, China and Mongolia, and this was another no man's land as well. There was nobody. I had the impression that the animals were much stronger in this region. The animals knew what direction to take. They knew where the wind was blowing from. And you had to take horses, for example, and you had no mobile phones. You went back into a different type of life. It was about mere survival, about the capacities to survive. So this uh, might be something that doesn't help you in society, but in certain circumstances, you need this capacity. And at the beginning, I thought, well, this environment is kind of the starting point for this film. Because in such an environment, you realize the animal instincts and forces inside yourself. And this was kind of a starting point uh, based on which we developed the script and the story. The two actors are very popular comedians in China. And a lot of uh, people uh, who will watch the film will expect a very funny comedy because these two actors are uh, part of the film. But then they will uh, make a different experience 
friends. Uh, we've uh, known one another for quite a long time, the director and me, and I uh, grew up under his auspices. Uh, I did a lot of films. And now I'm a murderer in this film. He was a little bit afraid that I might be too nice in the film. I have to do it in such a way that people in the audience will be scared of me, uh, will be afraid. And he said, well, I will dig you into a hole in the sand so that you get an experience about it, get the feeling of it. And he made me undergo a lot of tests. He had the pigs, uh, these heavy carcasses of pigs. Uh, and the pigs in the film, he gave me a knife. And he said, now you need to do it. Take the knife, do something with it. And when I wanted uh, to start doing something, the butcher told me, no, this pig is far too big. You won't manage to kill it off. And I was really relieved that I did not have to do it. And I told the director, look, I don't know how you kill someone, but I learned how you get killed. Because when I was looking at the pig in the butchers, I realized... And then I saw Chi Zhang on the second day, how he did it, and he did it in a great way. It was a great job.